Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Please be seated. So I'm curious. Who is planning to put out some cookies and a glass of milk tonight? Okay. Is the flue in your fireplace clean? I guess. Is the tree ready? Are you ready for Christmas? I'm gearing up for a big Christmas next year, when our first grandchild will be 16 months old. No doubt he will ask about Santa Claus, just as his father did. And I will tell him the same thing. Yes, Santa Claus is real. And guess what? You can be Santa, too. Really, Santa needs a lot of helpers, so you can be a little Santa. I learned about three stories of people who recently filled that role of little Santa. In fact, I think that St. Paul touched on this in his letter to Titus, talking about Christ's people who are zealous for good works. Randy Heiss owns a ranch in Arizona near the U.S.-Mexico border. While hiking, he saw something red in a shrub. Thinking that he should pick up the latex balloon and put it in the trash, he discovered that a string and a note were attached. He couldn't read it, so he took it home to his wife, who said that it was a wish list sent to Santa by a Spanish-speaking girl named Dayan. She asked for enchantables, clothes, art supplies, and slime. <laughs> Interesting girl. Randy posted all of this on Facebook, hoping that friends in Nogales which is 20 miles upwind, might know Dayami's family. Between the post and a radio station, Dayami was located in Nogales. She is eight years old and has a sister, Shimena, who is four years old. Randy and his wife arranged to meet Dayami and her family at the radio station in Nogales, with all of the presents on the list and more. Their eyes were wide open with wonder, he said, and he told them that he and his wife and he told them that he and his wife were ajudantes de Santa, or Santa's helpers. It was a beautiful, beautiful experience, quite healing for us, he said. They lost their only child nine years ago and missed the commotions of children's Christmases. But they got it this year, and they will be with the Yami and her family at Christmas next year. The second story is about Ken Watkins, who was a great neighbor and was happy to fill the role of grandfather when newborn Katie Williams was brought home next door. Ken was also Santa's helper and gave Katie gifts for her first two Christmases. He became ill and died in October of this year. Last week, Ken's daughter brought Katie a large, full garbage bag. Inside, were wrapped presents from Kim for the next 14 Christmases to get her to her 16th birthday. Her parents will give her one a year, and she'll learn all about Santa's helper named Kim. The thing that stands out to me is how few people know their neighbors, Katie's father said. People are saying, that's so lovely, I don't even know my neighbors. This Christmas, take your neighbors a bottle of wine or a small gift, a token. Just say, hi. You can open a new world like we did. Rachel Utrusky Pass, excuse me, Rachel Uresky Pratt is an elementary school teacher in Kennewick, Washington. This time of year she gets a lot of gifts from students, chocolates, handwritten notes, jewelry. But one really stood out. All of her students qualify for free breakfast and lunch at school. And one student she knew came from a family that was quite poor. This kiddo wanted to give me something so badly but had nothing to give. So rather than give me nothing, he opened up his box of free breakfast cereal, picked out every Lucky Charm marshmallow, and put them in a plastic bag. <laughs> Rachel said it was remarkable too, because everybody knows that the marshmallows are the sweetest part. All of my kiddos are super sweet and giving, she said. Kids are naturally kind and loving. The world kind of hardens us sometimes. 
Be grateful for what you have and what others give you. It, is, it all truly comes from the deepest parts of their hearts. Yes, it is from the deepest parts of our hearts that we become ajudantes de Santa, Santa's helpers. Knowing this, now I feel ready for Christmas and every Christmas to come. And I hope to teach our grandson, Vincent, how to be Santa's helper too. Oh. Oh, no.